Welcome to the Vigor Life Podcast, a source of inspiration, lessons, stories, skill sets, mindsets, and strategies to invigorate and expand all areas of your life. Let's go. What's going on? Luca back here with the Vigor Life Podcast. And today we're going to talk about the sword and the stone. All right. And so let me like kind of tell you what that means. Because you're like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> but when I, when I was a warrior, it, it was um, when we do. So a lot of times in warrior after after uh, we do certain uh, exercises, a lesson or teachings, we always do walk and talks. We always do conversation to extract the lessons, to talk about the lessons. Right. Because it doesn't matter. Um, I think it's it, in a. In the military, it's called hot wash, right? After after exercises and stuff, there's usually failures. Hot wash is talking about what can be done better. What did you learn from it? Um, like I said, in Warrior, we do a lot of walk and talks. And, you know, what's really cool is because you get other people's perspectives on scenarios. Like, actually, right before we started this podcast, uh, you know, me and Gene were talking about something, and it got a little bit heated in a, in a positive way, <laughs> but you know, he asked some questions that, that spurred kind of like passion and emotion out of me. And then, you know, once we calmed down, we talked about the lessons, like what, you know, Hey, look, look at this from this perspective, that perspective. And, and it's so powerful to be able to get other people's perspective from things, but to lead us back onto track, one of my warrior brothers, Kevin, you know, made this point as we were talking about something. And, and he said, you know, uh, people get afraid of their own power. Right. People get afraid of what's possible. But more than anything, people then get afraid of responsibility. Right. Because the thing is, the more you take on the more you commit to, the more responsibility you take on. It's, it's like extreme ownership. And, you know, in, in the story of King Arthur and the sword, Exc- Excalibur, I'm sure you guys have heard of it, um, you know, is who will be worthy of taking the sword out of the stone. Right. It was like nobody could do it. Uh, even if they were super strong, they couldn't do it. You know, and Merlin raised kind of Arthur and had him be tutored and, and, and taught like to grow up and be the person they'll be able to lead England. But when he first pulled out the sword and he saw that he could, he put it back in. Right. As if you really see the true accounts and stuff. And the thing is, I said, like, why did why did he get scared? The reason he got scared was because, man, pulling out the sword means he has the responsibility to unite the kingdom. I mean, think about like how heavy that is, right? How heavy that is on your shoulders to be, to have to do that. And, and the reality is that we, when we, we become aware of our own power, right? And sometimes, look, sometimes that shows up in, you do a, a eight to 12 week transformation challenge and you do great. Like your, your workouts on point, your nutrition habits start getting better. You're in a community that's like empowering. And it's like, you're, you, you feel, you know, you just like, man, I got this, Right. And all of a sudden, it's like the subconscious feeling of responsibility to maintain that, to keep that, to be an inspiration, to, you know, to not have bad days, although you're allowed to. But your your thought process, man, I can't have bad days. I got to always be up. That means for the rest of my days, I have to eat like this and be like this. And then you just put the sword back in and you fall off and those 15, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, you know, get back on. And you become more comfortable because there's not as much pressure. And that's like, it, it happens in business. It happens in career. It happens in people stepping out on their own. And it's like you're tippy toeing, right? You're tippy toeing in and out, but you never go all in. So that's really what the conversation about today is. The sword and the stone is that like when you pull out the sword and you, you, pu- you, pu- you, know, you put it up in the air and everybody sees it. Like, that's you taking ownership of it. That, that's you saying, I'm all in this shit. Like, I'm all in. I'm all in and changing my life, my body, and my health. I'm all in. I'm in for the long haul. I'm in for the for years. You know, forget this six-week chat. Like, I'm in it for years, right? Like, here, like I, I, I'm going in. and Like, for me, it was like, I don't know, part of, like, buying this building. It's like, man, I put up the sword. I'm scared shitless. But I'm like, you know what? The weight is heavy on the shoulders, but I'm all in. I'm committed to this. So my question for you is, is like, where are you pulling out the sword and then getting scared of responsibility and putting it back in and hoping that nobody saw you pull it out, that you're the one? Because the things that you're doing in your life right now, you can do like you can do them. Now, what is going to take It's going to take work. It's going to take being all in. You can't you know, if you if you're like, well, I'm in for a week, but then I'm out. And then I'm in for a week and I'm out and then I'm off for three months and then I'm back in. Like that's you don't that's not how you become the person. That's not how you unite a kingdom. That's not how you take over control of your life 
and your family and your body and your finances and all these different things. That's not how you do it, right? You do things despite of fear. So yeah, like you're, you're scared shitless. You're pulling a sword out going, oh my God, like it's me, right? But then you got to put it up. And even if you're scared, you got to still walk into that fire. And so this is the conversation that I want to have with you today is where in your life are you putting that sword back in? Because you know that you like you see you see the possibility, you see that you can do it, but it's scary. Sometimes it's scary because if you do it, maybe there'll be some social disconnect be, be, between the people that you love. Right? All of a sudden you take control of your health and you get there's some resentment, there's some d- distance, some social distance. You start, you know, going all in in your career and you make more money and there's more there's the distance that creates oh like now you're too good but the thing is these these are these are the realities of what happens and you have to say hey do i choose for me do i choose to be the best version of myself or am i going to go down to the level of what others want me to be because of their comfort zone so no matter where you are like you got to choose Right? You have to be all in or it's not going to happen. And you have to pull the sword out all the way. You got to put it up in front of everybody and go like, this is me. I'm all in on this shit. I'm going to make it happen. And the thing is, we've all done it. We've all pulled it out, put it back in. Right? And, and because we're scared. But if you're frustrated and tired of constantly doing that shit, and you're ready and committed and all in, and that's what you have to do. So, be your own King Arthur and hoist up your own Excalibur, man. And I love, I, like, I love the stories, you know. I'm, I'm always, like, The Last Samurai, one of my favorite movies, or Gladiator. And, it, man, that shit gets me fired up. And King Arthur. So, it's like that story resonated with me on some of the things that I keep holding back in my life and the decisions that I made lately that said I'm all in. And even though it's still scary, there's this feeling that kind of drops off knowing that you made the decision and you chose yourself. I'm going to repeat that, right? Make the choice and choose yourself. There's a great book by uh, James Altucher that you should probably get. It's called Choose Yourself. But on a daily basis, choosing yourself and making yourself first and saying, hey, I'm, I'm going to be the best version of myself. That's what it's going to take. So what is it going to be? Where are you going to pull out the sword? Where are you going to pull out the sword? All right. Man, I got fired up about that one. So make sure you tune in for the next one. Like I said, these are experiences and and, and, and things that, you know, I go through on a daily basis. And I, and I recognize and, and I know what's going to help you as it's helped me. So put them into play. If you don't put them into play, nothing happens. I'm out. I will see you with the next episode of the Vigor Life podcast. Check us out on iTunes. Check us out on YouTube. I'll see you soon. Peace out.